Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this course of Palo Alto. And in my previous video, I've gone through the management access uh, topics. So now before continuing further, we will go and install this uh, Palo Alto VM in VMware Workstation. I will also cover installing the uh, Palo Alto VM in ESXi, as well as installing the Palo Alto VM in EVNG. So, you have many options you can install this on the gns3 as well so i mean it, it depends on what platform you are uh, comfortable with but i feel like even in, uh, this uh, workstation and and esxi are more uh, i mean faster compared to other uh, virtualization tools right so this is the setup that we, that we are going to do and we are not going to do the all of it but we will just try to uh, first thing first, what I need, we will take a Palo Alto, this one, and this box. Yeah, we will take a Palo Alto box. We will install it, and this will be Palo Alto 10.0. Uh, and then we will configure a management interface, and then we will have a client, which will be our host PC, basically, on which we have the VMware workstation. So this is our host physical host PC. Yeah, so this will be our physical host PC or else you can have a virtual PC also in the VM workstation. And also we will configure this uh, later in the course, we'll configure the inter uh, inside interface or the and the outside interface. You can say the, so you can say in either inside or you can say trust or you can say outside or you can say untrust. They're both the same, right? So depends on what you like and you can call them. So let's begin. First thing first, what do you need? When you need the uh uh you need the image, right? So uh for the image actually you basically need the Palo Alto customer support support account. So you should so you should be a user of their device and they will give you a, a support portal where you can log in and download all the uh software updates, right? Uh, so I will just show you. So this is how it is. You need to go to this uh, service portal, customer service portal, and you can just log in here. Go to the portal, right? And you have to log in with your organization username and password. But if you don't have that, that is a secondary thing. But when you have it, you just need to go to the software tab here, as you can see the screen. So you go to the so software tab. Let me just annotate on my screen so that I can show you guys where to go uh yeah so where you go you go into this software tab and then once you are in the software tab you can then go into the uh types of uh device so you can have the platforms here you can see as you can see the platforms are there so that's when you select the platform and then after you select the platform uh, let me just clear this after you select the platform then you go to the next step and you get the software releases here as you can see you see 9.8 so this document is pretty uh, old because you can see 9 so 8 is already um end of life uh now 10 is out there so and then you can download the uh file and you can have different type of files. You can have OVA, you can have the KVM files, right? And then also you can download the dynamic updates and you can also download the uh, software for Global Protect. You can, uh, you can download the uh, iOS and PanOS images for uh, all the platforms as well as VM. Yeah, you can see. So you have uh, OVA files as well, right? You can download the Global Pro Protect agent from there. You can download the Panorama plugins. So and different things that you can download. So that is where you download the OVA file for your VM. ESXi or we uh, or your or uh, this uh, workstation, right? Uh, now, what happens if you don't have the customer support portal? Uh, so Google is your best friend. I have got one link. I'll be pasting this in the uh, description, but I don't own this uh, own this link, so I don't know how long this will be there. But for the time being, you download the OVA file and the QCO file from there. Once you have the OVA file downloaded, as you can see, I already have this. So you can see this is the file. This is around three gigs. So I'll go and import this now once you have the file you need now you need the workstation installed if you again don't have the workstation installed i'll again paste uh, a link in the description of my video where i have shown you how the steps to download and 
install the workstation pro with the license so this is the workstation pro and this is licensed version for free yeah you can do this so once you have this uh, you go and click on new virtual machine or you can just double click on that obf right that you just downloaded or you can i can also say import uh i should have an option for import or open and i have this in my downloads i think yeah so i can double click on the ova and it's asking for the name so this is p a f w one and i'll keep the uh, i mean storage path as default which will be in my c drive and the documents so and now just you have to wait for this to complete there is a catch that you need to change in here i will let you know so you have to uh, just think uh, for this lab you need actually uh, three uh, three interfaces you need one inside one outside and one management um, so uh, there's a catch let this uh, firewall get imported to workstation and then we can uh, talk about this further and also i can show you so this same ova5 can be used to import this uh, palo alto vm into your uh, workstation as well as on your esxi server and for the uh, evng there is a different file that you need to download which is uh, in the same uh, google drive you can see the qcow2 file so you can download this if you're planning to deploy this uh, uh, palo alto firewall in evng yeah once uh, i will show that in, in a later video but for now this is important so you need the three interface it's already there in this uh, uh, firewall so this by default i mean needs a minimum of 5 uh 0.5 gb of uh, ram and two processors so make sure you have this much of uh, uh i mean resources in your pc so i'll go and allocate say 8 gbs to this one and two processors and this so the first adapter is actually going to be your your uh, uh management port and the, the adapter two is going to be your ETH one slash one, and then likewise third adapter is ETH one slash two. So accordingly, you have to build up the topology. For now, I want my management to be on my local uh, subnet on which my host PC is. So I'll go and keep it as bridged, and also I want my ETH or uh, one slash uh, one to be my uh, in internal right. So I will just uh, either you can assign this to a VM net from here, or I can assign create a LAN segment which is called the inside okay and okay and i will assign that inside to that you know, second and third one i want it to be the outside the untrust so i'll keep it again bridge so that my firewall has internet connectivity through the outside port yeah so just follow up if you don't understand you need just follow up and everything will be working fine and click ok now second thing i want you to uh, you guys to go into the virtual network adapter click on edit and then virtual network adapter it should pop up a menu like this click on change settings i have seen a lot of uh, people having issues because of this so make sure in the bridged uh, uh, option here right which two uh, the adapter that you are using right now is selected it's not automatic it should not be automatic if you're using the wireless LAN to connect to internet uh, you can select that adapter here if you're using the ethernet or a wired connection you can select that adapter here so i'm using wireless so i know this how can you just confirm that okay i'll tell you just go to the run with windows r and ncpa.cpl enter and now it will open the network connections now as you can see, I'm going to Wi Fi and just hover over that connection, and you will see Intel R Centrino or Ultimate and 6300AG. And that is the name that you need to select there. So if you had uh, Ethernet connected, so you can see Intel, uh, Intel R 82579 LM gigabit network connection, right? So you can see I've selected the Centrino Ultimate and 63AG, and that is my wireless. And apply and OK. So that is the uh, I mean main thing. You don't forget to do it. Uh, that's said and done. Now we can just go on and power up the virtual machine. Let's power up. So as I said in my introduction video that the VM is uh, is uh, VM is configured for DHCP on the management interface. So it will it will take up an IP address from your local uh, subnet, which is uh, basically if you're on the internet, mostly it's the 192.168.1.0 subnet. So if I go to my wireless card, I see um, um, for me it's 1.4. So I will get some IP address from that range assigned to my uh, 
my palo alto firewall right the management port so we will go on and check that and also i will show you how to uh, statically assign the ip address to that management port uh, let's wait for the firewall to put up this process can take longer time depending on the hardware type you have on your end if you have a good um, um, I mean beefy system it should not take more than 15 minutes but if you have an old system like mine it will take probably take maybe half an hour or 20 to 25 minutes yeah so I'll, I'll wait for this and i will continue once this is done now you can see that it is um, showing you for a uh, login but uh, this is not the actual login screen you need to wait here uh, unless this prompt changes to something else and also you should see the ip address getting assigned here it should have a, a notification here so let's wait okay now this is what i want to see so you can see that the ip address has been assigned and also the login name has changed to PAVM login. So I think now we can uh, uh, enter with admin and admin. So now enter your old password, which is admin. So it is forcing you to change the password. So I'll say admin one, two, three, just that it should be something similar. You should not have the password policy. So yeah, now it's again asking you to log in with a new password. So admin, admin one, two, three. Okay, admin, I did something wrong. Okay, admin admin is still working. So I think there's a password policy in place. So that means you have to make sure that your new password, so old password is still admin. The new password should have capital letters and a special character and then numeric. Okay. There have been failure in the login and I think that's done. Okay. Your default admin account credentials please change your password priority so that is what your uh, there's a password policy in place so make sure you have um so there should be a length as well so we'll come to know or you can go to the documents M minimum i think it's 12 characters and then you should have capital letters small letters um and special characters like at the rate hyphen something like that and then num numbers as well so now as you can see there was an ip address that was assigned uh, but that went up so how to see that show the command is show interface management and that's how you can see the management ip address on this device and that is assigned through dhcp which is 192.168.1.8 and you, this also got a default gateway through the dhcp so you can go to your browser um, for example this one and you can just click on 192.168.1.8 with an https and you should be able to log into your firewall to firewall just click advanced here because this is just prompting you for the uh, certificate which is not trusted by your browser but we are sure so this would be admin and password should be still admin because we are not able to change it uh admin and admin okay maybe it got changed okay let me just enter my new password that i typed in capital a d m i n at the rate one two three this is what i typed in and this yeah okay but it did prompt that it didn't change but anyways so that's how you log into your palo alto virtual machine simple right so hope you did follow me along and uh, you are also on the same page where i am so these are just the uh, messages that will come up to you uh, with the latest updates and the setting that you might need to change so i've gone through the uh, i mean uh, the dashboard yesterday um, 